Alright, yo guys, Seabass here and um, Skinny Elephant, and we're back here, back here for part two of our um, West and of our uh, NHL playoff video. And right now we're going to do Western Conference. Uh, first matchup is Dallas and Minnesota. I'm going, I'm going Dallas. Like I said, I like, I like, I like Young Blood, and you know they've been really on fire this season. Um, you know, what do you think? No, absolutely. You know, Klingberg looks like a superstar defenseman in the making. Uh, Tyler Sagan, Jamie Benn all season. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good players all season. Tyler Sagan out for the first little bit there. Could could maybe come back in the first round. Probably the second. It, it all depends. But uh, the, the hottest team was Minnesota down the stretch. They did very well to stove off or Colorado Avalanche there at the end. Very good towards the end. And Parise is going to be back for game one, which is a huge, huge advantage for Pittsburgh. A huge, uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Minnesota. Is it Pittsburgh? Well, we'll be that out. Minnesota looked really good uh, down the stretch, as I said. And D Dubnik. They got more momentum going to the playoffs. They have a lot more momentum going into the playoffs. Dallas was really good, too, down the stretch, though. You can't count them out. Mm -hmm. I feel that I, there's going to be an upset. I don't know what it is. I'm just feeling that Minnesota will do it. They, they've done it. They finished the wild card spot the past three seasons, and they've always done very well. They've upset the St. Louis Blues. They've upset the Colorado Avalanche, and I feel that they could do it again this year. I'm set on them. Ryan Suter looks very good this year. Another really good season for Ryan Suter on the back end, so mm -hmm. it'll be interesting. All right. All right. The next series is going to be uh, St. Louis Blues and Chicago Blackhawks. I think everyone here is going to go for Chicago. What, what, and that, I'm, I'm going to be in that boat. What, how about you? Well, I, mean, I think that I got to tell the story there. I but. mean, guys, like, you know, it's just, you know, Chicago, they, they, they know how to win games. It's that simple. They, mm -hmm. they know how to win games. They've been there before. They've kept their core players throughout the years. They've had Taze, Kane, uh, Duncan Keith, Seabrook. They've all been there numerous times, and they know how to get it done. Duncan Keith won't be back till game two uh, with that suspension, but you know they won't miss him too much. They have a lot of depth. Christian Ehrhoff they brought in. Uh, Andrew Shaw looks like he may come back. It's questionable. And don't forget, um, Hoso's coming back the first game. That's Hoso gonna be big for them too. Will be back, which will be crucial. Mm -hmm. But I mean, again, you know, St. Louis, don't count them out. They're, without a goaltender in Jake Allen, he's gonna be out. Maybe could come back in the first round. We'll see. But uh, Petro Angelo coming back was huge for them. He did really, really well come when he came back. Accumulated some points there at the mm -hmm. end. Um, you know, offensively they look really solid. But it, it all comes down to just will they get over that hump? It, it, they're almost becoming like Washington as we speak. You know, uh, finishing first, finishing you know second or whatnot, and just not being able to do it in the playoffs. So could this be the year? I don't think it will be. I, I feel. Chicago have the best odds by far, the most depth, and they look like they could do it again. Panarin looking really good in his rookie season. Mm -hmm. uh, Patty Kane MVP, <sighs> absolutely. He's on an absolute tear. Like, absolute he's no one tear. Can right now. Uh, Taze, like I said, he's been there mm -hmm. before. Captain Serious, he's always stepping up. Captain Serious, uh, Seabrook, they, they, they've all been there before. Tara Vinen, a very good young player. Mm -hmm. And the day of they brought in for some uh, depth towards the end there, and they look good. They look really good in there. All right. All right. Next game, and uh, Nashville fan here. So Anaheim taking on Nashville. Uh, Nashville easily disappointed to finish in the wild card spot, but I, I know you're going to give your take there. Um, you know what? Anaheim, first in the conference, like they've just, like the year they've been having, and with um, what's it called? What's what's uh, what's the goalie there that just came in for Anderson? Gibson did a really good job coming yeah, in. Yeah, Gibson, for, like for for for, for, for a rookie, first year in the NHL, like he's looking really good. And you know what? That's that's what I think that's going to be Nashville's biggest um, advantage. Is you know what? Yeah, Anderson's going to be coming back, but you know. Um, Gibson's hot, and you're going to want to play Gibson, and you know what, this is his first playoff, so no matter how good you are, you're going to be nervous, 
And you know, it's it all depends on what he does with it. If he's going to just crash and burn, or he's going to take it and try, and he's going to go even kill even further. And not to mention too, um, you never know if he can burn out how much he has left in the tank still. And you know, what? I'm not just going. I still think Anaheim's going to win, but I think it's going to be Game Seven. You know, Nashville they're still firing on all cylinders. You know, when they picked up Johansson midseason, I was like. You know, he's a great player, but I don't know. And then, you know, just he been, he's been sticking up with Neil and with, with Forsberg. Oh, my God, Forsberg. Like, he's just been like, Washington's like, oh, my God, why Forsberg? Why is he gone? And, like, oh, and not, not to mention our defense, you know. Hosey, I, I love Weber, but Yossi has been really overshadowing Weber. I don't care what anyone says. Like, he, he's been the man this season. I think both, like, they're, they're going to play huge parts. And you know, and you never know. I don't know who's going to go to. And I think the only worry we have as Nashville is is um, Pekka Rene. You know, it's one of his worst seasons in a long time, and you just don't know. I think it's going to Game Seven. It's just a toss in the air. I'm going for Anaheim, but you never know. No, I mean consistency is the key, right? Which Pekka Rene hasn't been able to find all season. Mm -hmm. uh, hasn't been very consistent whatsoever. Uh, the depth. For Anaheim just looks incredible. Like they, they have way too much depth. I mean, mm -hmm. they brought up Nick Ritchie, who looks really good. He'll be a star in the league. Uh, Shea Theodore will be another gem in the league. A very good defenseman, as mm -hmm. they brought him up. John Gibson also looking very, very good uh, when he filled in there for Anderson after that injury. And they just, they've been there before, the Ducks, like I said. Uh, mm -hmm. They don't, they haven't won as many cups as Colorado, uh, uh, Chicago, I should say. But they looked really good mm -hmm. this season. Perry, another 30-goal season, gets left, looking to lead his team to some glory. Uh, you know, Nashville, don't get me wrong, the defensively looks solid. And that first line is killer. Probably one of the best first lines down the stretch as they got hot at the right moment, mm -hmm. which could be a scare for Anaheim. But I feel that other than that first line, they have nothing and depth wise and Anaheim just has way too much depth and they should take this one not comfortably but I feel six games would we'll probably get it done for Cross sure. Thing, that's what I'm doing. Um, and you know what last series LA Sharks I know we talked about this many times uh, what, what's what's your input on this? Yeah you know I just you know it's they've matched up a lot in the playoffs recently. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with these new divisions. You're going to continuously see the same teams play each other and, you know, it gets boring after a while, but these two teams just hate each other. I mean, they absolutely can't stand one another and it's not going to be one of those series where you're watching, you know, and it's like, oh, you know, this skates by them, you know, nothing. You're going to be getting knocked on your ass if you try to go in the corners. You're mm -hmm. going to get killed and, you know, Brent Burns had a very good season on the fence for San Jose. And Joe Thornton, guy's 36 years old, still looking really good out there. Mm -hmm. You know, Patrick Marlowe looking really good with along with him. And, you know, I like San Jose in this one. I do. The only problem, Marty Jones had a very good season. I'm not saying he had a bad season whatsoever. First playoffs, can he do it in the playoffs? No one knows, right? Mm -hmm. He's still a really young keeper. Jonathan Quick's been there. He's won two cups. You know, this this core team in general has won two cups. They've they've kept most of their team. Just like Chicago has and Kopitar tied them to a big deal. He's gonna reward them very well. Uh, Toffoli looked really good this season, was really underrated player this season. Probably one of the most underrated players in the league. Uh, Tyler Toffoli did very, very well. And you know what? Get the injury to Gabrick is going to really hurt them speed-wise. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting for sure. Absolutely. But I like San Jose a lot in this one. Alright. Um, I'm going LA, like I said. Normally I don't go for experience, but you know they have... And goaltending, I think that's going to be the biggest thing. And you know, I think, I think it's going to go to Game 6. So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, defensemen too. Jake Muzzin and Juice Dowdy looked really good for LA this year and you know the, the odds against San Jose I don't think there are going to be too many people picking San Jose but I don't know what it is I, I don't know what it is I feel that San Jose are going to do very well in this series I feel they could pull off an upset there uh, I picked mainly upsets eh? actually I don't think other than Anaheim and Washington I picked mainly upsets there but yeah I you know what these are our picks guys 
what we're going to do during the playoffs is we're going to have a head-to-head -head matchup type thing mm -hmm. who can get the most picks uh, correct and we'll see uh, who wins in the end. It's going to be really interesting. This guy <laughs> thinks he's going to win. We'll find out. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Continuing doing the NHL playoffs. And, you know, coming up, uh, we're going to do Champions League 2. We're going to do International Cups. Euros are coming this summer. Might do the Confed Cup. Um, you know, even do leagues. And, you know, even some gaming, stuff like that. You yeah, know? you know, guys, just like, this is going to be a new experience for both of us. We've never done YouTube. So, you know, if, if we manage to get a following... It's it's gonna be you know we like to enjoy it you know and yeah, we're just we're doing this for fun and you if know. you guys enjoy that's you have, that's a bonus for us too you know yeah. Yeah. you know some NHL some FIFA you know get some gaming in there I've seen people do it I'd like to do it so you know, it's interesting but anyways uh, like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and uh, thanks very much guys we'll see, see you next time yep.